So welcome back to more of Mega Man 2, and we are starting off Dr. Wily's Castle. And uh, this opening theme is one of the most legendary NES themes out there. And uh, let's see, all I'm doing now is just taking out some birds. And um, you can use these things to power up, just like before. I mean, if you get the timing right with a metal blade, you can really uh, get a lot of good power-ups here. And we have technology, we might as well use it. And I'm going to try not to use a metal blade that much, but for these worms, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of them the easy way. But after that, you won't see very much of the metal blade. Let's see, I want that life. So I'm going to take it. Alright, just, I'll take this. Let's see, sometimes I can make this jump and sometimes I just miss it. So, back to using item 3. And I do want to save my item 1 for a few particular sections. And uh, coming up is going to be one of them. Or you have to uh, build stairs with it. So let's just take this guy out. And um, this stage can be pretty short when you know what you're doing. And uh, a lot of people like to speed run this with item 1. I mean, they just abuse it a whole bunch. And um, I don't know, this is a pretty fun stage. And uh, this is a really fun stage to play. Now I tried to get fancy there. But instead, I won't get fancy here. I'm just going to wait for this guy to pass. And then speed him up. So, uh, let's just get moving here. And yeah, that's the uh, part I was talking about where you could have used item 1 just to climb up faster if you're trying to go for some kind of speed run or something. And there I was trying to inch closer and I end up jumping myself off. And, um... Let's see, the timing on these things is a little bit tricky, but it is pretty easy to do once you're used to it. And, uh, believe it or not, we're already up to the boss. And, um, in this game, um, if you do die to the boss, you have to start at a checkpoint. There's, uh, no direct doors that go to the boss. I mean, there are direct doors in the later stages, but you, uh, don't get to start there for some odd reason. Of course, once you see the fourth boss, you'll probably understand why. But anyway, we're faced off with a giant dragon. And, uh, one thing a lot of people don't know is that the dragon is instant kill if it... or if it gets that the horns touch you. And, uh, the biggest hazard you have here is, uh, getting knocked off the ledges. And, um, I just killed him right before he was about to knock me off. I don't think I would have fallen, but still. So with that, we are done with stage one. And ready to roll into stage two. And see, here in uh, stage two, what we do have to worry about... Actually, wait, I think I'm gonna save this one. And I'm gonna save this one just in case my uh, item two ride doesn't go over that well. Because I want to refill on item three. And let's just ride over. And um, it is a pretty lengthy ride and it's pretty easy to run out of uh, the item 2 that you need. And also those uh, prop tops are there so you can farm on them just in case you do end up uh, getting killed. And um, the checkpoints in the Wily Castle is actually not very nice and um, there are a lot of places where you can end up starting at the beginning even though you swear you made some progress. And, um, I do want that life, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. And, um, this is one spot I was talking about where you can get screwed over by the checkpoint if you're not lucky. Because, in fact, the checkpoint happens to be right here. And, um, all I'm gonna do now is just, uh, dispatch these guys. And hopefully not run out of health. Of course, this is a nice place to farm too, in case you end up, uh, running out of particular items. And um, that is something that actually can happen pretty frequently in this game, is that you can run out of a lot of items, and uh, in this game, there are certain parts where you need one particular item in order to actually do anything in the game. And since I'm here, I might as well just refill my weapon energy. 
Not the good news is that uh, these drills do give you plenty of opportunities to get good stuff. And obviously I'm still talking a lot more when, you know, I've got these guillotines to worry about. Let's see, am I going to make this? Eh, it turns out I did. And, um, let's see, the boss is going to be coming up pretty soon, and um, he's going to be weak against Bubble. Eh, this is where I get worried. Yeah, I didn't get that one right. But anyway, I've been watching uh, a lot of other 8-bit summers that uh, a lot of people have been doing. And, um... Let's see, the interesting thing about these 8-bit uh, summers is that you get to hear other people's experiences with the games that they grew up with. And, um... Let's see, and this happens to be one of them for me. And, uh, this boss... Um, comes together and forms these, I don't know, I guess these robots that attack you. And, uh, they are weak to bubble, as I mentioned earlier. And, uh, let's see, yeah, that's really all there is to this boss is, um, just make sure you act fast where you know where they're coming from. And it's actually no big deal. And once again, game so close to no hitting that level, but... That's like, wait, I wasn't close at all, I ended up getting hit a ton by those drills, what was I saying, thinking? Never mind. That's actually stage three where I get close. I mean, at least on the practice runs, I'm probably gonna do a lot worse now that I just jinxed myself. But here we are in stage three, and, um... In stage three, you can get an extra energy tank if you want. And there's also a lot of other good stuff here to uh, refill on a lot of other things. And see, first thing I'm gonna do is refill item one. And, um, let's see, getting back to the whole 8-bit summer experience, it's, uh, that's, like, pretty fun to watch other people's takes on particular games. And, um, that's really one thing that does make, you know, let's playing a game casually instead of, like, being as textbook as I've been, fun. And, um, that is one of the reasons I did get into Let's Plays, is just to work on my speaking, and, um... I'm actually a very terrible storyteller, and... I might have been able to improve a little bit just based on, uh... doing these games. And see, this is your Water and Spikes challenge. And, um, it helps to pause. And, uh, when you do pause, you, uh, end up falling slower. So that's just something to remember while you're doing this. And see, just a few more controlled falls here. And you're good to go. And let's just dispose of this guy. I don't know how I screwed that up, but okay. Alrighty. Let's just... Ow, oh, damn. And right before the boss, too. And this boss is gonna be the Guts Dozer. He's, uh, actually not that tough, and, um, first thing you have to do is, uh, just get up here and then pummel him with quick boomerangs. And, uh, that's, and also occasionally he shoots met tools at you. But fortunately, this isn't like, uh, Ninja Turtles 1 where the hit detection on the treads is really shoddy. But, uh, you can take this guy out quickly. I actually did a pretty crappy job on him, but... Well, those are the breaks. But here we are at, uh... Let's say let's wait for the map here. Yep, here we are at, uh, Wily Stage 4. So with that, I am going to call this a video, so... Join me next time as we take on the rest of Dr. Wily's castle and take out Dr. Wily for reals. See you next time.